Hi everyone. I have a problem. Look at all these camping chairs. Uh, every season I go and I end up buying more or some are sent to me and I can never decide which ones are the right ones for me. So I've ended up with all of these. So today I'm going to review them for you. Hopefully if you have the same problem I do that help you pick which one you're going to want for your next camping trip. Let's get started. Okay, welcome back. So as I mentioned, uh, we're gonna review all these chairs today. I'm gonna kind of give you some weights on what they weigh and, and how they feel and a couple unique features that, that a lot of them have. So, but before I get started, I wanna recommend you check out gotogethergofar.com. That's my personal blog and website. I've got plenty of other content out there on other camping and RV and all kinds of other things that, that I enjoy talking about. So gotogethergofar.com. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I really appreciate that. It makes the channel, makes this thing kind of fun for me to do. Um, also, many of these chairs, although not all, were sent to me uh, for free, and uh, which was kind of fun, part of the cool YouTube thing. Um, but not all of them. Some of them I actually purchased. If I bought it, when I get to that chair, I'll tell you which ones I bought. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna individually highlight each chair. I'm gonna kind of show you what, uh, what I think is good about it, why it works for me or doesn't work for me, and uh, we'll go through it until we get to the ones that I think are the best ones out there right now. Let's get started. Okay, for our first chair here, this is actually a beach chair. Uh, now, it's not necessarily a camping chair, but there's still a reason you may want to keep this with you, particularly if you've got a travel trailer. So we've, we've camped near the beach. There's plenty of places near us. We can't wait to go to like the Indiana Dunes. Where they have all these big sand dunes and stuff like this uh, right on, on the water. And uh, a chair like this could actually be really, really useful. Uh, they're relatively lightweight. These individual chairs are 4.6 pounds, so they don't add much to it. You can get them wet, you can bang them up, and now they're, if you're a bigger guy or girl, they're a little difficult to get in and out of. Uh, I will save myself the embarrassment of doing that on camera, but the, um, uh, you know, they are what they are. They're useful to have, uh, but I would not make these your primary camping chair. All right, our next chair is, uh, can be commonly used as a camping chair. These in particular happen to be kids' chairs, right? Now these, are very traditional. You're seeing these all over the place. These are by Quest. Uh, we'll actually look at some from full-size Quest chairs later. Um, these are only 2.8 pounds, so they're very, very light. Uh, the nice thing about the kids' chairs is, uh, unlike the larger ones, is they actually have a locking me mechanism back here so they don't accidentally collapse on the kids. Um, in general, I like these. Uh, one of the problems I have with this, and, and I think I did a video on this uh, a couple years ago, with these chairs and kids, they tend to sit right on the front, and if they lean forward, these chairs tend to tip um, very, you know, very easily. And if the kid's sitting close to the campfire, that can be a problem. So you have to just watch it, right? You know, these aren't, you know, if you put a toddler in this thing, it's very easy for them to tip these chairs over. Uh, but they're lightweight, they serve the purpose, uh, and they get it done, particularly for the kids. So they have their own spot, and they're not stealing yours. Okay, so this chair that we're looking at now, this is a very similar traditional chair that, that you're seeing on the market right now. Uh, this one just happens to be Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, again, very typical. The problem I have with these chairs, particularly the ones from, from Dick's, they are designed to be cheap. Um, they don't last. Uh, if, you're, if you're bigger, they, they break. All the cup holders pop out really easy, right? Um, this one only has one cup holder and it only holds a can size. It can't hold anything larger than that. Uh, nothing for a foam pocket, anything like that. Um, they also have a tendency to stick straight up in the back, which makes you feel like after a while that you're, you're leaning forward. But they do only weigh 5.4 pounds, which is nice. So they're, they're fairly lightweight. If you're going to ball games and you know kids games, stuff like that, they can be pretty convenient to throw in the back of the, the car or the trunk. Um, but these are often very used. They're, they're cheap too. They're not very expensive, so that, that's useful too. So this is the one from Dick's. Um, I'd use it if I had it, um, but I would prefer to go with something a little nicer if I use it on a regular basis. Okay, this chair is the Quest folding chair. Now, like the other ones, it is very traditional in its style. Um, the way it folds up, it's, it's the typical kind that you see. Now, I will say 
This particular model from Quest is a little bit nicer. It's an upgrade from the, like the Dix ones that we looked at. It has two cup holders. One is a much larger kind of cup holder you can have. And I think it's even got like a pocket down here to you know put something in, some stuff in. Um, and it's a little heavier duty, meaning you're gonna get a couple more seasons out of it. Although I will say, like I am getting already, the cup holders are, are starting to rip out on this one. Um, and if there's some wear and tear on it, screws start coming out in the back, stuff like that. But uh, you know, it's, it's a step up. These probably are 30, 40 bucks. Uh, I'm sure I bought these somewhere along the line. Um, and overall, they're pretty good. They're definitely a step up. It's worth spending the extra money on something like this. Uh, because they're, these are also a little wider, um, you know, I can actually feel like I'm leaning back a little bit as, rather than being pushed forward like some of the other chairs of this style. So these aren't too bad, uh, but they are a little pricier. So now we're looking at something a little different. This chair is an ultra light backpacking chair by a company called Tinya. This one they did send me for free, a couple of them actually. Um, these are very non-traditional compared to some of the chairs you've already seen. The difference with these is that they're ultra light. Uh, this backpack or this this version right here that has all this whole chair's you know, version of this chair is all folded up inside of here, uh, only weighs 2.8 pounds. So uh, if you're backpacking or you you know you're car camping even and you want something very lightweight, you don't want to take up a lot of room, these are a great option. The, there are some downsides to them. Um, the way they come together is a bit odd. It does take a minute or two to set up. And I actually have done a video on this specific chair. And I'll, I'll put links to it on, I don't know, up on the corners, whatever corner it shows in. Um, that's a little different for this chair, um, but it's worthwhile. It doesn't feel as stable as some of the chairs. Like I can rock back and forth a little bit. It doesn't feel like it's about to break. I am currently, I don't know, I'll be nice, call myself 215 pounds. I think the limit on these is about 250. Um, and the, this is like a, a bar aluminum kind of in, in plastic on, on bungees, but it feels okay. If I were back, and they're actually surprisingly comfortable, right? Actually, because of the way you lean back in them, they actually can be more comfortable than the more traditional chairs. Um, but again, your size is gonna matter. If you're, if you're on the bigger size, this probably isn't the chair for you. Um, if you're back, or if you're you know, RVing, and you have capacity to carry something a little heavier, there may be some other options. But if you really want a nice, compact, lightweight chair uh, that's gonna work for you if you're backpacking or doing something else, this is a really good option. Um, and like I said, I have a couple of them. Uh, I've got some other ones that have some different features on them that I'll show you here in a second. But this one's from Tinya, uh, one of the more comfortable chairs out there. Okay, so this is a different type of chair what you may notice about this one, it looks very, very similar to the Tinya chair. Like this one's literally the same color and everything. In this case, I like this one is actually from a, a, a company called Elite Refuge Outdoor. It's a little nicer, I think. So this one has cup holders. Uh, there's actually a pocket holder here. There's a small one up underneath. And it's maybe hard to see. I'll give you a close up underneath here. There's like a sand mesh net that you straps to the bottom that way. If their ground's a little soft when you're sitting into it, these legs don't, don't sink in. The, the Tinny one has something similar, but I think this works better to keep you from really sinking down into the mud. Additionally, it actually comes with a little folding table. Uh, this is aluminum, one of those ones that kind of snaps together. Uh, it collapses down very, very small. Uh, the chair itself is three pounds with the table only weighs a, an extra pound and all of that can be folded up inside uh, inside uh, this with the little attachment for the table. Um, essentially, so for four pounds to take yourself, you know, backpack and you've got actually a very, very comfortable chair uh, that keeps you out of the mud and a little table to do, you know, your your you know, cooking and little stovetop cooking and stuff like that. So this is actually a really, really great option. Again, from Elite Refuge Outdoor. Uh, they did send this one to me. I'll have links for it down below. Um, these are a really, really nice style. Probably not what you need for RVing, but if you're backpack backpacking, day tripping, some of that kind of stuff, these are a really good option. Okay, so this chair here is, uh, if you, at first glance, looks really, really similar to the other chairs that you've seen from, you know, Dix or Quest, uh, the traditional folding chair that kind of fold up. And, and for the most part, they are pretty similar. There's a couple differences, though, that I want to talk about. This company is a company called Iceco. If you've watched any of my other videos, and I'll put a link, again, uh, on either uh, one of the sides, um, Iceco actually is really known for making uh, coolers. 
Uh, in particular, coolers that are uh, electric that you can plug in, they're essentially portable refrigerators and freezers. I did a demo of one not that long ago where you can, you can get it down to zero in about 30 minutes. Uh, so if you're car camping or something like that, and you actually want a refrigerator with you, uh, like what we have on the RV, this is a good option for you. Or if you want something in the back of your, your car or vehicle, they have a great option for that. But they also do these chairs. And there's a couple things about them that make them just a little bit nicer than some of the other ones. One, the materials are a little nicer. Uh, you know, like some, the, the way that they've sewn in the, um, the cup holders, I, I think are a little, little more secure. Uh, they don't offer the really big cup holder, which is a little disappointing, but you do have one on each side. They only weigh 6.8 pounds, so it's a very, very stable chair and it's, it's relatively lightweight. The, probably the most important feature is actually back here in the back, and I'll show you a close-up to it. A lot of these chairs of this style, because they tend to push you forward, this back bar connects directly to the footer. In this chair, it actually comes in a little bit around the footer and actually gives you an opportunity to lean back. So from a comfort level perspective, they are meaningfully com more comfortable than some of the other chairs of a very similar style. So uh, if you're in the market for a chair and these aren't too terribly expensive, again, they did send this to me with that cooler. Uh, I'll link to it down below so you can check those out. They're, they're not ridiculously expensive, but it is probably an upgrade from the, the thing that you may buy at Dick's or, or a Quest one. So check these out. These are Ice Co. Okay, this next chair you may have seen before. These are considered what they call the zero gravity chairs. Um, these are much bigger and heavier. Uh, these are 15.8 pounds. So these are carrying one of these is, you know, as many as three of the other chairs if you're hurting for weight. And these can lean back quite a bit. And this makes them very, very comfortable from that perspective. This is what you're looking for. These zero gravity chairs can be really nice. Uh, we have them. I don't use them anymore, actually, because this leg piece I found to be pretty annoying around the campfire. It was actually kind of difficult to get in and out. Um, again, if you really, really like kind of kicking back and relaxing, they can be very comfortable. But ultimately, I found that that this this piece here wasn't that comfortable over, over time. Um, and you could never actually sit up if you wanted to. So we actually still have these. Uh, here's my other one. Um, I don't really use it much, but I do keep them. Uh, they're too heavy. You would not take these backpacking or something like that. The only way you'd really want to use these is around your house or, or loading them on your trailer. Um, they are very comfortable if you're using them to lay back. If you're not, maybe not necessarily the thing you want to do. I also found on these, there's little handles here that every time I'd sit down, I'd snag my pockets and, and I have ripped pockets on a bunch of shorts and stuff from where I keep snagging these. So that, that was always kind of annoying too. So uh, again, zero gravity chairs. If you use them for the right purpose, they can be really, really comfortable. Otherwise, I'd pass on them unless you really want one. Okay, so uh, almost done. This chair here, this is the GCI Outdoor uh, Freestyle Rocker. Uh, these are the ones that I actually keep on the trailer for us when we camp. And so I use these all the time when we're camping. The nice thing about these is not only can you sit up straight like you can in, in you know, with some of these other folding chairs, the rocker component back here allows you to kick back, right? So that piece there, that little bit of rocking motion when you're around the campfire is perfect. Um, these are by far some of the most comfortable camping chairs I've been in. Uh, and the, I purchased these personally. So um, they fold up very flat. This is a folded up one, which makes it easy to get in and out of uh, storage. Um, they're not that terribly heavy. They are a little heavy. These are 10, 10 10.8 pounds. Um, so they're a little heavier than your traditional chairs. So if you're a little on the bigger side, uh, you know, these will hold you no problem. They have straps here for holding them so they're easy to carry they got straps up here for carrying them um and they all they all seem to have a you know a cup holder or something uh the cup holders leave a little bit to be desired on on these but you know if you've got a table or something with you that's that's probably just as good uh these are the ones that i'd use on a you know daily basis when i go camping the rocking feature is perfect uh gives you Ability to kind of kick back and relax. Uh, they're much more comfortable around your, your legs and, and the back of your thighs than a lot of these other models are as well. Again, this is the GCI Freestyle Rocker. Check out the links below. Okay, so this model here is 
tied for kind of my favorite. Uh, it's tied with the other GCI model. This is a GCI kickback rocker. It's a little different than the freestyle rocker. Now, uh, it sits a little lower to the ground um, than that one does. And, but like that one, it does have the, the rocking feature, which makes it super nice. The difference with this one is rather than folding flat, it folds up in a more traditional you know, camping chair model. Um, and instead of using a sleeve to cover it, like a lot of the other ones do, it's just got a little strap here that keeps it together. Um, and a thing on the, the arm here to throw it over your shoulder. Other than that, really, really similar in terms of how it feels. Uh, it's a little heavier. This one's got a little more engineering to it to make this work. So it's like 13 pounds compared to 10 pounds. Again, not something you wanna use necessarily backpacking. I keep these at my house um, because we use these for my son's football games and you know any like you go to sporting events, kids sporting events. Uh, it's much easier to carry than the flat ones, uh, even though they're just a hair heavier. And they're super comfortable. Uh, if you need to sit in it for a couple hours for a sporting event or something like that, these work really, really well. So this is the GCI Kickback Rocker. These are ones that I purchased as well. So uh, all the links for these things are all kind of down below uh, from Amazon. So there you have it. Uh, let's take one more second and review a couple of these. All right, so if you're looking for my final picks, here's what we got. In an ultralight model, I would go with this Elite Refuge Outdoor. Uh, not only is it super light with like only three pounds, uh, it comes with that super cool table, which is nice. Uh, that's a very, very nice ultralight camping chair. If you're looking for a more traditional chair uh, that's not a budget breaker, uh, I'd look at this one from Iceco. Again, it's very similar in nature to the ones that are out there, but because of the unique design in the back, it does let you sit back a little more, which is a little more comfortable. And my best overall picks are actually kind of a tie. Both of them are these GCI rockers, either the kickback rocker, which is a little more compact and it's probably a little more travel friendly, um, or the freestyle rocker, which kind of folds up flat and is great for, for camping. Both of these are extremely comfortable. Uh, the kickback rocker does sit a little lower to the ground. Uh, this one uh, sits a little higher, which may, if you have some mobility issues or um, some weight, something like that, this one may be a little easier getting in and out of, if that matters. Um, and these tend to be a little more expensive than, than some of these other models as well. So. Hopefully this has helped you. You can also go to check out gotogethergofar.com. I have some chair recommendations and other gear recommendations on there. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I would really, really appreciate that. And uh, if, you're, if you're not done yet and you want to check out some other videos, I'd really appreciate that. Thanks, everybody. See ya.